Mm -hmm. Welcome back, <laughs> long range. I think I'm gonna like it. I think you are, <laughs> yes. We are looking out beyond the seven day forecast and going out 14 days and it has changed. Uh, initially looked like colder than average conditions. Uh, this is from the Center for Climate Prediction, just released today, looking at December 6th through the 12th. And there's something unusual here. Uh, first of all, a fairly strong signal for above average temperatures throughout the northwestern, well, throughout the western United States. But it looks like there's been a little hole cut out here. It even goes up to Alaska, little hole cut out here uh, for the inland northwest down into uh, the Boise area and eastern Oregon. And uh, that would indicate average conditions, nothing to indicate above or below average conditions. And I was like, what the heck, what weather pattern would do this? And then we get to the next slide and see that there is a very strong signal of below average precipitation for this entire region. So what that tells me is a ridge of high pressure over this region. And this time of year, when we get a ridge of high pressure hunkered down over the region. We end up in temperature inversions over much of this region from Spokane all the way down to Boise. Uh, it was a little uh, not particularly elegant the way that was uh, drawn. A lot of areas added into that area that would not uh, be in a temperature inversion, but the major uh, towns certainly would be, and that would keep our temperatures lower than average while the rest of the region had above average temperatures. And uh, boy, not much precipitation coming out of a ridge. Uh, unless you get a little frizzle coming out of the freezing fog. Uh, so right now we are getting some mountain snow. It is not amounting to much. We could get up to six inches uh, in the mountains of northeast Washington and north Idaho with up to eight in the central Panhandle Mountains where we have that winter weather advisory. Around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, mostly rain or a rain snow mix, accumulating snow on the higher benches on the grassy surfaces, but will not amount to much, maybe a half inch, a trace, but we are drying out later this evening, uh, probably before midnight as we take a look at the computer model. I'm going to go through 48 hours um, and we'll see we dry out by about midnight, keeping the chance of snow showers going in the central panhandle. Here's 24 hours from now uh, and we are dry, may even see some sunshine tomorrow afternoon, not a lot. We we'll go through Thursday, the clouds increase during the day Thursday and then 48 hours from now, we get our next system on the way that will bring us similar chances of rain, possibly mixed with snow. In fact, it looks very similar to the system we have happening now. It's rain right now in Spokane and 36 degrees, 37 with rain currently in Coeur d'Alene. Cold front working its way across the country right now. It's not bringing a lot of precipitation, but it is bringing a dip in temperatures. I want to point out Denver, 46. That's the high yesterday. They sit an all-time November record of 81 degrees uh, in Denver. So a big drop uh, today. On the other side of the front, it's 60s as far north as Chicago, 79 in Dallas today. It was 80 today in San Antonio. Our seven-day forecast. I have a two on tomorrow morning on the impact index, a scale of one to five. That's for the potential of some icy spots on the road from tonight's precipitation. Then there's that next system coming in late Thursday into the overnight. We dry out Friday with more wet weather, possible Saturday and Sunday. So dry, you will not be shoveling. It does not appear anytime soon or snow blowing. Okay, Nadine, it's all ready or though. dealing with your snow tires or lacing up your winter boots. Okay, but it's all ready just in case. Okay. Because you know it's going to happen. I will alert you when it's going to happen. Hey.